I'm going to show you how I made a inline with the filter CO2 reactor. I took my ideas from a variety of places and put them all together and this is what I came up with. It's been functioning for a couple of years now, no leaks and fantastic results. These are the materials that you'll need. You can find them all at Lowe's with the exception of the gravel vacuum, which you can pick up at your local fish store. Let's get started. So the aquarium gravel vacuum tube is inch and a half inside diameter. So we're using inch and a half outside diameter obviously schedule 40 PVC and then we're just using all the reducers that we have to get down to eventually the compression fitting that will fit to the Fluval filter hose everything is dry fit no glue until the very last steps this is the piece that I found. It's uh, threaded on one end and a compression fitting on the other to fit into the filter hose. And then this is what you want to end up with. Next you'll go ahead and mark your inch and a half PVC, maybe about an inch down. Remove the pipe from the fitting that you've made. Go ahead and cut it with a miter saw or a hacksaw or whatever you've got. And then you're going to repeat the process so that you end up with two identical pieces of inch and a half PVC pipe. Assemble everything dry fitted without glue with the aquarium vacuum tube in between your two fittings that you've made. And then this is what you should end up with everything fully assembled, dry fitted, no primer or glue. Then go ahead and glue everything, prime and glue it at all joints and seams. I also found that the PVC primer and glue works quite well to secure the clear plastic tube to the PVC, inch and a half PVC pipe. Make sure that you glue all threaded joints as well. Next, mark a hole location into the first fitting so that when you drill, you'll end up drilling through the first fitting and through the inch and a half PVC pipe. This will allow the hole to be a little bit deeper and thicker, which will give you more room to secure your, your CO2 line into the assembly. Pre-drill with a small drill bit and then move up to one that's just smaller than the threads of the hose bib. And take the brass hose bib and screw it into the hole that you've drilled. Once it's screwed in securely, mix up your five minute epoxy and apply a bead where the metal fitting attaches into the PVC to make yourself a nice joint. Now you're done, you're ready to paint. I chose a um, matte black so that it would blend into the workings of my fish tank. I masked off the clear tube with packaging tape because that's all I had or at least all I could find. I do not recommend this as the adhesive was a royal pain in the ass to get off of the clear tube. 
use uh, painters tape. Paint both ends of your tube, all the white PVC, just make it look nice. This is your finished product once it's dried. Looking back, I would recommend not masking over the purple primer areas so that they would be covered with black as well. Then you can attach your filter line to both ends of the reactor. Install it vertically in your aquarium stand using the two inch and a half PVC pipe hangers. Then attach your CO2 line to the brass hose bib. And that's it, you're ready to go. The first time when my entire system was uh, still completely dry, no water in it, I did have to siphon some water down into the CO2 reactor, you know, to get it about three quarters full before the pump was able to create enough vacuum to get the water moving through the entire system. But, you know, once it was running, there was still some air in it. It took it maybe a day or two for the air to clear out. And then I ended up with just the CO2 bubbling up from the bottom and mixing very nicely into my aquarium water.